if you guys watched Monday Night Raw this past Monday, you would have heard two separate references in regards to slaying the beast. One by Cody Rhodes and one by Seth Rollins. Now online fans are speculating that this could be WWE pre-programming you to anticipate the return of the beast. Brock Lesnar to WWE TV just in time for WrestleMania season. There are conflicting reports. Some say he will be back. It's definitely coming back. And he's not coming back. We got all the latest on Brock Lesnar and his potential return to WWE. AJ Lee could be on our way back to WWE. I know WWE wants her back, but it's in AJ Lee's hands as WWE is trying to lure her out of retirement just in time for WrestleMania season. And Kevin Owens is on his way to signing a new WWE contract. And on top of that, has demands for Nick Aldis because he feels like he's been done wrong as he releases a social media video explaining how he feels because he wasn't given the stage to do so on Friday Night SmackDown. All this and so much more right here on Off The Script. We will start with AJ Lee. Now, for years, there's been speculation, especially since Punk got back to the WWE, whether AJ Lee will return to the WWE or not. If it were up to WWE, they would have her back yesterday. But it's definitely in AJ Lee's hands, and they want to try and get her back in the ring as soon as possible. Now, AJ began working for WWE in 2009 in FCW, later getting called up to the main roster in 2011. And while on the main roster, she won the Divas Championship three times and held the title for 406 days. She left WWE in 2015 and retired due to health issues. Now, WrestleVotes, who is very good at what they do, they reported on Sportskeeda's backstage past Patreon that WWE is open to having AJ Lee back, of course they are, and leaves that decision in AJ Lee's hands. WrestleVotes reported and said, It is a question I get quite a bit. As far as I know, WWE is totally on board for it. They would welcome it. She picks up the phone and says, I'm in. They're going to say, yes, what took you so long? I would say the only two people that probably know the answer to that question are AJ Lee and CM Punk. And whatever that answer may be is completely up to them. So we will see, end quote. AJ has worked on comic books in her absence, even wrote her own biography in 2017, and a few months ago, it was announced that her memoir, Crazy Is My Superpower, was being developed for the TV network A&E. I would love to see AJ Lee back. I would love to see that happen. I do think that it will happen. With Punk back, I do expect AJ to be back. AJ is not going to be back to integrate herself into the division. She's not going to wrestle full-time. It will be on a case-by-case basis. But do I think... Now, granted, it did not happen in AEW. I don't know what happened there because I know with Punk getting situated in AEW, you would think that her watching her husband come out of retirement after seven years, after everybody asking him to do so, and he vehemently said no... He's back. It was made into a big deal. It was one of the greatest moments ever in pro wrestling history. You would think that someone like her would get the wrestling bug. The wrestling bug is always documented from people who step away and then they see it and then they want to get back involved. I don't know if AJ got the wrestling bug or not, but it would be very difficult for someone to not get the wrestling bug seeing CM Punk back on television after seven years and get involved with some of the best stories that he's ever been telling in his entire career. MJF, Eddie Kingston, Darby Allen, a bunch of shit. Adam Page. There's a lot of stuff there that was substantial for the return of CM Punk to pro wrestling. A lot of good came out of that. But she stayed vigilant. She did not want to get involved. And I think she did not want to get involved because that's her husband's moment. She didn't want to step on his toes. She didn't want to try and take the spotlight away from him. She would never do that. But now he's not there anymore. Now he's back in WWE. Now he's been ingrained. We know CM Punk. We know what CM Punk is going to be doing. We see the direction for CM Punk. After a little bit and after that, 
honeymoon phase wears off and that luster and that fresh car smell starts to fade away, then I do think that AJ is probably going to look at her husband and say, you know what? I think a Royal Rumble appearance could be well worth my time. I think that would be super cool. I think I'm ready to come back now. I think under the current administration, she sees what's going on and she wants to see if it maintains that And I think after that, she's going to make a determination on whether she wants to come back or not. She wants to do what she wants to do now. But I think when the time calls for it, we will see AJ Lee back in WWE. And I do think that it will be revolved around the Royal Rumble. I don't think she's going to come back for a one-off feud. I don't think she's going to come back to feud with any particular lady or woman on the roster. I think it's going to be a Royal Rumble appearance because that is just the great, you know, thing about the Royal Rumble. You come back and nobody knows whether you're going to come back or not. And the reaction that she would get there would be fucking unbelievable. So I do think that, I don't know if the Royal Rumble in 2025 is going to be it, but I could see 2026, I could see something along those lines for AJ Lee. But I do think that she will ultimately be back in the WWE. Do they need her? No, they don't need her. It would be more of her wanting to close that part of her career, that part of her life, and close that chapter and just leave it closed for good. I think she, if she wants a a ending sequence to what she's done in pro wrestling, I think WWE would be more than willing to give her that opportunity to do so. Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is on his way to be re-signed with WWE. Now, earlier this year, Kevin Owens revealed that his contract with WWE is slated to expire very soon, as he had nine months left on it. Since then, there was no update on his contract status. WrestleVotes reported on Sportskeeda's backstage pass on Patreon that Owens is close to signing a new deal. WrestleVotes says, and I quote, I did reach out and talk to a couple of people. I didn't get a definitive answer one way or another. An absolute that the deal has been signed, but... I did get a positive response that it's very close, if not completed, with a handshake. So I would imagine he's around for the long term now. Kevin Owens attacked Cody Rhodes and then Randy Orton. First, Cody Rhodes at Bad Blood and then Randy Orton on SmackDown this past Friday. Cody Rhodes, he attacked in the parking lot after Bad Blood had concluded. Uh, I don't think anybody's surprised that Kevin Owens is going to remain with the WWE. I know that there were rumors that Tony Khan was ready to offer him the vault to come on over to AEW. It's the last thing that they need. They don't need anybody else. They don't need a Kevin Steen. WWE is not going to let Kevin Owens go. And Kevin Owens has been documented saying that he wants to retire in WWE. He's very happy in WWE. He's not leaving the WWE anytime soon. They're going to pay him what he wants. And right now he's in the middle of something very unpredictable and very creative as far as the creative process for Kevin Owens is concerned. A lot of that revolves around Kevin Owens kind of floating in the middle of nothing and nothing really exciting is revolving around Kevin Owens. This is probably the best thing that Kevin Owens has been a part of all year. So I'm anticipating a nice payoff here, whether that results in another match with Cody Rhodes, a match with Randy Orton, Kevin Owens and Randy Orton both going in at the same time to go after Cody Rhodes. I don't know, but I do think that there are solid plans in place They did give him these plans because they want to show him that they want to work with him. They want to show him that he is important to them. So I I do think that these plans that you're seeing with Kevin Owens right now are not just because. I do think that they gave him something substantial because they know they have to. They did the same thing with Drew McIntyre. They gave him CM Punk. They built his entire year around CM Punk. And I do think that Kevin Owens is going to get the same treatment. And he deserves to get the same treatment. On top of that, be paid royally for the dedication and loyalty he's shown to WWE. So I'm not surprised by anything that Kevin Owens is getting, and I'm not surprised that Kevin Owens is staying, ultimately, with the WWE. Now, if you guys missed the video that Kevin Owens put on social media, he had some demands for Nick Aldis, as they did not give him a live microphone. They cut his live mic He got into a pull-apart brawl. He beat up Randy Orton on SmackDown. They kicked him out of the building. They are keeping this very close to the vest. They are playing this into the worked shoot environment on TV, which I absolutely love. But Kevin Owens did put out a video on social media, and if you guys missed it, I'm going to play it for you right here. This is what he had to say 
coming up on Friday night. He's got some demands for Nick Aldis. <clears throat> um, ever since Bad Blood, there's been a lot of questions uh, about uh, why I did what I did to Cody. Um, there's been a lot of judgments, too. A lot of people judging me for what I did. And as much as I'd love to explain myself, give my side of the story, and speak my mind, um, WWE has not allowed me to do that. They have done the opposite actually they've tried to shut me up it seems because they wouldn't let me come to smackdown they told me to stay home last friday even though i belong there and when i showed up anyway they cut my mic and did everything they could for me not to be able to talk um and then over the weekend i sent them a video that i hoped they would air on raw last night and they didn't um so nobody could hear what I have to say. But of course, they had plenty of time for Cody to talk. But not for me. Um, and look, the last thing I want to do is, is do this on social media. Because I hate. I hate it. So I'm giving them, um, I'm giving them until Friday. This, this Friday on SmackDown. To air my video so that people could hear what I have to say. And if they don't, then um, I guess I'll post it here. It's going to be interesting, man. I don't know what they got going on, but uh, I like what's going on. The unpredictability of it, the nature of chaos happening at any moment. Kevin Owens being kicked out of the building. You don't know when he's going to show up. What's Randy Orton thinking? What's Randy Orton going to retaliate with? How's Kevin Owens feeling in regards to Cody still? Does he regret it? How does Cody feel about Kevin Owens? There's a lot going on here, man. A lot going on. Plus, you got the bloodline on SmackDown. So we got two major stories playing out. And then obviously you got Dwayne looming and he can show up at any time. SmackDown is about to take it to the next level. Finally, after very mediocre television for many, many, many weeks, they finally have two storylines that are going to give them that must-see feel to tune in every single week. So we will keep you guys posted on that. And I'm not covering SmackDown on Friday as I do have House of Glory obligations with the Solid Monster. If I do anything, it would be on Saturday afternoon. and I will keep you guys posted on my coverage of SmackDown this week. Brock Lesnar. Is WWE planning on bringing Brock Lesnar back to television. Now, after Brock Lesnar references were made on Monday Night Raw, one by Cody and one by Seth Rollins, it looks more likely that Brock Lesnar could be returning. Now, Lesnar was dropped from WWE plans earlier this year, including matches at the Royal Rumble, the Elimination Chamber, and WrestleMania 40, where the rumor was he was scheduled to wrestle Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship. This is all due to the sex trafficking lawsuit that Janelle Grant filed against John Laurinaitis, Vince McMahon, and the WWE. In the lawsuit, a former WWE slash UFC heavyweight champion was named. People mentioned that it was Brock Lesnar when they read the court documents. We then later find out during the Vince McMahon docuseries that aired on Netflix that Brock Lesnar was actually named by name, and they showed Brock Lesnar in the docuseries. Now, the Wall Street Journal later identified Lesnar as the former champion as well. The case has been put on hold until December as the feds investigate. WWE's legal team is yet to clear Lesnar and it reportedly won't be back until that happens. On Raw, Seth Rollins was advised by Adam Pearce not to take a match with Bronson Reed, but Rollins reminded him that he'd slayed beasts before. There was also a reference to Lesnar in Cody Rhodes' in-ring segment with Gunther, where he stated that he's slain a frightening beast. On a recent edition of the Backstage Pass Q&A with Russell Votes, it was asked whether Lesnar was returning to WWE following the Raw references. Russell Votes responded and said, I will give you the short answer in regards to Brock Lesnar returning. The answer is yes. Bill Apter even went on to say, that people in WWE have been saying they are talking with Lesnar's camp. Aptor said, 
I can't tell you definitely yes, but my inside people in WWE have told me they are talking. That's the most that I know. So Russell Vogt says yes. Bill Apter, who's respected worldwide as far as what he does for pro wrestling, he says yes. And then we got the latest update from Sean Ross Sapp because people started to talk. Fightful went and did some investigative work and they got back to us yesterday with some news that possibly debunks Brock Lesnar coming back to television. So rumors emerged on October 15th that Lesnar and WWE had been in talks and the company was considering bringing him back. That was denied within the company on a high level, says Fightful, with one source saying there are no creative plans in place for Lesnar and if conversations have occurred, we've not been briefed on that. Earlier this year, Lesnar was referenced in a lawsuit, blah, blah, blah. We all know that. WWE went on to great expense and inconvenience to have Lesnar even removed from the WWE 2K25 video game outside of his inclusion in a few game modes and other properties. Lesnar's merchandise was ordered to be listed at reduced rates, and sources we've spoken to say that new products have not been created featuring him on the front. A WWE higher-up actually reached out to Fightful in April to state that Lesnar was not imminently returning as there were inquiries from another outlet that had been convinced he was set to come back at WrestleMania, which was never the plan. Now, we're told that Lesnar is among a couple of other names that were not to be mentioned on WWE over the last few months. Lesnar was not brought up in video packages, mentioned on promos, or referenced by the commentary team, and they were told that if they could avoid it, do it. This past week, Lesnar was referenced by nickname in a WWE Raw promo by Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. Despite Triple H saying that Lesnar could be back in the fold at a recent interview or scrum, we're told that he's not been brought up creatively in quite some time. One source in Korea have told us they haven't heard any updates regarding Lesnar in months, with another saying they'd be surprised if Lesnar was brought back in the middle of a federal investigation. Fightful says they will continue to follow up on this story, and they last reach out to WWE reps for an official word, and they have not heard back. It would be completely stupid for WWE to bring Lesnar back until the case with Vince McMahon is closed and his name is wiped clean. That is not going to go over well. And Ari Emanuel, Triple H, Nick Khan, TKO Enterprises, they do not want any of the heat that will absolutely be coming down upon them if Lesnar's face is on WWE TV and brought back creatively in any aspect. They will not do it and it will not happen. The fact that they mentioned it, and this is why fans are, fans jump the gun on social media and they want things to happen even though it is not right for them to happen. And people usually do this as well to engagement farm, click, bait, and try and get the likes and the views and all this other shit on social media. They're looking for their 15 seconds of fame on social media. They're looking for a cheap payout from Elon. They will hang on to anything. They obviously will make something out of nothing and then it gets picked up and then reports like this need to be conducted via Fightful and other outlets that need to dumb down these reports because it grows so big and people start speculating, Lesnar's coming back, Lesnar's going to be at Royal Rumble, Lesnar's going to be at WrestleMania. And, And there needs to be a lid that is put on top of these rumors before they get out of control. Lesnar's not coming back until everything is wiped clean. And even then... And even then, his reputation is going to be tarnished because your name is linked to Vince McMahon and the nastiest, most derogatory, most vile shit that people are talking about Vince McMahon. Your name is attached next to Vince McMahon in this entire Janelle Grant lawsuit. You will never be looked at the same again. You will never be wanted back willingly by fans on WWE TV. Never. There will be a pocket of fans that don't care. There will be a pocket of fans that want to see Lesnar back on WWE TV. But there will be a lot more of those people that don't want. And they will use their voice on social media 
to tell WWE exactly how they feel, and WWE will have no choice but to remove Brock Lesnar from television because as soon as that starts to snowball, someone's going to pick it up, and then this one's going to pick it up, and then it's going to be blown into this big industry-type deal, and they don't want that. They don't want that. They don't want anything that's going to disrupt how hot their business is, and they will be making a mistake if Brock Lesnar is brought back to television. I know the idea of it is great. I know the idea of him being in the Royal Rumble and having a stare down with Bronson Reed or a match with Bronson Reed. I know him coming back to television or wrestling Gunther. Listen, I was excited about that match. In fact, I'd still love to see that match personally, but I know we'll probably never get it. It's going to be very unlikely that we do. Bronson Reed versus Brock Lesnar. Gunther versus Brock Lesnar. Braun Breaker versus Brock Lesnar. John Cena's retiring in 2025. You don't think I'd like to see John Cena and Brock Lesnar again in the WWE. CM Punk and Brock Lesnar in the WWE. Again, rematch from their great SummerSlam match many years ago. There are things for him to do. There are things that I'd like to see him do. But we got to think realistically here. His name is attached to Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon has absolutely zero equity in anything anymore when it comes to pro wrestling. His reputation is completely finished. Nobody wants to associate with him. Nobody wants to be associated in any aspect with Vince McMahon. Brock Lesnar is associated with Vince McMahon. So by default, nobody's going to want to associate with Brock Lesnar. This is nothing. People turn this into something, and that's all it is. So Bill After says yes. Triple H came out and said, well, Brock's going to do what Brock wants to do. I don't think that's the case. I think that was just him wanting to get away from that line of questioning. Bill After says yes. Russell Votes says yes. Russell Votes is more right than wrong. Sean Ross Sapp is very good at what he does. So if he heard from people in WWE that Lesnar and WWE have not been discussing, then we should take that and stick with that. I don't think it's going to happen. And if it is a situation where he is talking to WWE and there are plans for him to come back, who exactly is going to know that? There are only three people that are going to know that. Four people. Ari Emanuel, who's obviously the boss, Triple H, because he runs WWE Creative, Nick Khan, and Paul Heyman. That's it. Outside Brock Lesnar, those five people are the only people that are going to know anything in regards to to Brock Lesnar, and more than likely, those five people are not talking to anybody on the ladder that are beneath them. They're not talking to Fightful. They're not talking to Wrestle Votes. They're not talking to Bill Apter. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. But in my honest opinion, it would be tone deaf for WWE to bring back Brock Lesnar and involve him during WrestleMania season. It would blow up in their face, and that is something that they cannot afford right now When WWE business is going to be even bigger going into WrestleMania 41, they will not disrupt anything that's going on with WWE going into WrestleMania 41. It would be a huge mistake. Thank you guys very much for all your support. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. What do you think of Lesnar? Do you want to see Brock Lesnar return? What do you think of AJ Lee coming back? What do you make of the Kevin Owens situation? Or if you don't give a shit about any of that, leave me a comment down below. Leave me your favorite emoji, man, because it helps me out. And the more comments that YouTube sees down there, the better the video will do in the algorithm. Hit that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell for notifications. Go check out all the other content that we've had on the channel so far. Raw, we were live. Tuesday Night Titans with the Solid Monster back on Tuesday. Episode 69, we were live on Tuesday. Wednesday night, Jesse and I covered Dynamite. We did a great job over on Wednesday night. And Friday, I will not be live for SmackDown as I have House of Glory commitments with the Solo Monster. I probably will be back on Saturday to give you guys a mini stream to talk Friday night SmackDown. So keep an eye and an ear out for the socials as I give you guys the updates on when that is going to happen. Hit that thumbs up, guys, and I'll see you back right back here with more news on Off The Script. I'll see you guys later.